to Dental Vibes, I'm Gabby. And I'm Carla. And if you're new here, we have been dental assistants for over a decade now. And in our channel, you can expect to see contents for our fellow dental assistants, but also for anybody that wants to take care of their oral health. And if you're returning back, thank you so much for your support. Please don't forget to like this video. And also, if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe <laughs> to our channel. And today, we're going to talk about a very uh, highly requested video, right? Uh, it took us a minute, but we're here. And we're going to clarify all of your questions. And it's going to be about how to properly do dental charting. Hey everyone, don't forget to also watch our three other videos on dental charting. And today's video is actually part four in our dental charting series. And we're going to focus on how to create a treatment plan, which is the step after you do your dental charting. And by the way, we do have another video on how to increase treatment plan acceptance and improving your communication with your patients. Don't worry, we're gonna leave all the links below in the description box. So go ahead and check them out and we hope you enjoy this video. So we are gonna go ahead and show you guys on how to make treatment plans. I know every office is different. Some offices, the assistants don't even touch this part. I personally think it's important for the assistants to do this part because we know how it's phased out. Um, you know, maybe the doctor wanted to phase out a certain way, but the patient in the chair told you they wanted to do it a different way. The front desk is not in the room listening to the exam, so I think it's just easier for the assistant to just do this. It's quick. Mm -hmm. And then just tell the front desk, hey guys, it's already in there. Just make sure you double check the fees. And then from there, the front desk can take it. Right. Oh, they can take it from there. I said it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here our active treatment plans basically shows you everything. You click here first, yes. right? Treatment plan treatment first. Plan. We went from charting to treatment plan. No, I don't want it to do it by its own. Active treatment plan, it's everything. So we're gonna create a new one because we're gonna face it out our way and maybe we're gonna skip some of it that it's not gonna get done immediately. We're gonna put today's day. Or you can also put like upper right, upper left, Correct. right? Correct, yeah, you or, can do, or you can do if you're talking about just the implant. Yeah. Implant number three or you're doing yeah upper right side however you want to label that heading mm -hmm. let's focus on that upper right side now we come here this is all that we charted we're gonna do we're gonna select everything that we're gonna do so on you're the gonna upper what right. click shift. shift three and we're also doing something on five okay and then we click this little arrow and it's transferring it over we click OK, upper right side, there you have it. Now, you see number five again, the explosion code that we have customized to our office has three different things. We usually, because we do Sarah crowns, and by the way, don't forget to check out our video on that. Um, we would do it all in the same day, right Gabby? Mm -hmm. But let's say you have to send out to the lab just for X, Y, and Z reasons. By the way, we also have a video on traditional crown prep and you can check that out. So we would do, okay, we did number two. That's a one appointment priority. You see where I'm clicking. Number five, let's say we started the crown and we did the build up, but it doesn't really matter too much to sitting appointment because it's zeroed out, but you still want to have it. So patient knows, yeah. Yeah, that they have to come in for two appointments. So then whenever we print this out, it's gonna have phase one and then the total for that and then separately is gonna have phase two. And a lot of times too, the patient wants everything, like everything that was diagnosed on that appointment, they yeah. want in one paper. Mm -hmm. So we can go ahead and enter everything that we enter today and then just phase out. Upper yeah. right is phase one lower left is phase two you can do it you know however needs to be done let's put multiple things here let's highlight all of this and then we're adding it there you go okay so now let's say we're changing this one this is the beauty again we have that appointment then we're gonna do 
upper left side, that's gonna be a second appointment. You see I'm setting priority number two, and we're gonna swing down to the lower left. And you can actually click shift, and then that way we'll highlight everything there. Priority two, and last, we'll do that, priority three. So whenever you are done phasing it out, and this is uh, why we say communication is so important between front and back and back and front. Um, you can just go ahead and tell the front desk, hey, treatment plan is already in, everything is phased out. The only thing they have to double check is if the insurance fees are correct, um, if you know, the patient is gonna max out, you know, all that financial stuff. They will be in charge of that, but at least, Whenever they see the phases, they know what to schedule the patient and how we, we want to phase this out. Um, also, if you need to modify anything in the treatment plan, you don't have to just make a whole new treatment plan. You could just double click on your treatment plan, a thing will pop up, and then you can take off something, you can add something. Um, but let's say, you know what, I forgot to add something. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you can go back I to have to go back to the chart, plug it in there, and then go back to the treatment plan and it's gonna show up there. Let's say we're gonna do an extraction. Here's your X. Yep. And we're gonna go to the treatment plan. And then you can just double click. Add it. We're gonna click number six. Let's add it there. Let's add it. But you gotta check, okay, which priority is it? Are we doing this with the first appointment or where? So you have to select that. And then when you print it out, see how nicely it would look. Now this printed uh, black and white, but if it was color, the patient will be able to see what we get to see on the charting and you see priority, the teeth number, surface, and what the procedure is in a grand total. Thank you guys for watching our video. We hope that you find it useful next time that you go and create your treatment plans. Don't forget to leave us any of your questions in the comments below, or you can DM us on Instagram anytime. As always, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time. Keep smiling.